Well, hello. It's a Wednesday and it's slightly afternoon and uh, haven't been doing too much here lately. It's been cold. We've had a major ice storm come through and today is just the first day that we're back into the 60s. So I uh, just thought I'd do this video. So uh, in the since the last video, we've actually put in uh, the cabinet lights, uppers and lowers for the kitchen, the pantry, and the utility room. So that's the big thing that uh, we've done. And I'm starting to work on the uh, pantry shelves and uh, we'll see a little about that, but uh, just starting on that. So anyway, here we go. So here's the upper cabinet lights. and then the lower cabinet lights. So here they are together. And it looks pretty good. All right, we also have the cabinet lights here in the pantry. So there's the uppers and here's the lower cabinet lights. So that's done. Okay, so here in the utility room, we also put cabinet lights in and they're on just one switch. And so we have lower cabinets and upper cabinets. So it really lights the uh, utility room up here very well so it was kind of dark before we had not planned on putting counter lights here but it really changed made it got rid of all the darkness because when you turn on the regular lights it's still dark underneath a lot of the counters under the cabinets and so by adding that that really fixed that issue okay so now i'm working on the pantry shelves and uh, so here's the French cleat that goes on the wall and here's the outriggers that go on here and then here's the actual shelf that will be put on once I put that in there and then I've also got to cut some additional oak to wrap the shelf on the front so it'll actually have like a quarter inch lip here so cans and stuff won't fall off the edge of the shelf so be a nice piece of oak going here with this sticking up about a quarter inch three-eighths of an inch that way cans won't fall off okay so I'm using pocket hole screws to put these pieces on here and so so here they are here's two of them right here but I'm using the Craig Foreman to do that well, I had actually set it up wrong because I watched four or five videos and they always seem to skip this point. And I finally found a video this morning which showed it is that you've got to set your screw, the drill point to the right distance based upon your screw length. And uh, they actually give you a little piece to do that with. And how you do that is you take it and you set it up here against the fence and your fence is set to three quarter inch wood because that's what i am three quarter inch plywood and then we set this over here to the screw length and then we set that distance using that and that's done with this wheel back here and then i've lo already locked it down so hopefully i've got it set up right now and uh, i'll hook up the dust my my dust collector to this to pull all the dust out and it actually has some stop guides here if you want to use them i have not set them up but it's pretty cool this is a well thought out machine this is the craig foreman
Okay, so I just so I, I just drilled these five and I've now installed them onto the cleat with glue. Now supposedly pocket hole screws you don't need glue, but since this is a shelf, I've actually put glue on there as well. So hopefully uh, I'll be waiting on glue to dry here for the next few hours. Well, as you saw, the counter lights are done. I think they're awesome looking. Uh, Sharon really loves them and uh, really makes quite, in the utility room, it really brought that extra light that we needed in the utility room because under the counters was dark. And as I mentioned in the video, we had not originally planned to uh, do count, uh, cabinet lights in the utility room. But since I had enough uh, drivers and I bought some extra bulbs and so, uh, had just enough as it turns out so uh, anyway and then uh, also uh, I think that we're got a good start on the pantry shelving um, you saw the where I had to adjust the pocket hole machinery by Craig and uh, that has really sped up the process because manually normally you'd have to uh, put one in then move the, the device and put another one in and with this what they call the foreman voyages it, it makes a, a quick job so anyway see you next time give me a thumbs up uh, hit the bell if you need to know yada yada make any comments so see ya have a good one